Say hello to my pet hornet. Hello, is anybody home? Let's see what's inside, huh? Maybe? Okay. <laughs> Those are my pets. Oh yeah, they're all over my phone now. Hey there, y'all. How's it going? Hey, uh, I'm uh, back to make that video on the combination of those two beehive manipulations with the uh, vertical split and the De Marie. Um, basically, the reason why I started looking into this was because a, a few people were saying that uh, with the De Marie, the hives get pretty tall. And when you have that upper brood chamber up so high in there, that thing can get heavy. And with that much weight being that high and everything, I mean, I, I agreed with them, you know, and it's like, man, there's gotta be a better way. Well, here, uh, it's like, I started thinking the vertical split, you know, it's very similar to De Marie. So this is a combination of those two things. So here we go. We'll go ahead and go through the motions here. Um, basically, I have it wrote down into 10 steps and uh you know we'll just kind of go from there so first thing we, that you need to do is uh move your hive from its original position so get that moved over we'll just slide it to the side and then get your new box that's full of drawn comb or at least nine frames of drawn comb So right now we have the new box sitting on the bottom board in the original position. Right now we have foragers coming in and out. Get one frame of, uh, of brood, open brood or cap. Check it for the queen. If it has the queen, great. If not, just get it in there. If it didn't have the queen, go through this one. And we absolutely do need to find the queen for this because uh, by the time we get done shifting things around, you know, it, well, we, we might have some other variations of this. <laughs> so, but like I said, we're going to keep it simple. Get the queen, put her in there. Get our double screen board, set it on top. Here's our old brood chamber set it on top of there. Make sure that the screen board has the opening, the notch in the same direction as the main bee entrance and have that notch facing up so that it's an opening for these bees. Put the lid on, we're done for seven days. Um, now we wait seven days, we come back, pop off the lid, That didn't need to be in there, just so you know. Now, we're going to have queen cells up here, all right? Just like in the De Marie, cause, because of that double screen board. Go through, knock down all the queen cells. Depending how thick the bees are, they can hide queen cells real easy. So. If you have to shake those frames off up here, do whatever you gotta do to get those queen cells knocked down. So now, remove the double screen board. And here's one of the possible variations, okay? For now though, for safety sake or for insurance purposes, get eighth inch uh, beekeepers hardware cloth. Lay it on here. Put the old brood chamber back up, set it on there. Now we need the inner cover, okay? Notch down. Put the lid on, 
we're good for seven days again. Okay? Seven days later. Come back. Remove the beekeeper's hardware cloth. Recombine the hive. Now we have a double brood chamber. You want to put a, are you into queen excluders? Put a queen excluder up here right now. Add a super, add two supers, whatever your beekeeping methods are. It's time to do it because now you have two boxes full of freaking bees. Big time. Put the lid on it and it's done. So now, here's the deal now. Um, there may be a couple of variations to this, but this one should be the most sure way of this being a success by coming back with the beekeeper's hardware cloth um, for everything to combine back well, you know, and everything working together right. So, but like here's, okay, let's go over what, what our status is right now, okay? Just with the way that we've just done things. So right now in the bottom box, we have that queen starting off two weeks ago. She just got thrown into an, a new brood chamber basically. Um, when we put that, ooh, yeah, I got hornets. I have pet hornets. And man, yeah, we're about 12 feet away from them. <laughs> so anyways, um, so when we done this manipulation and we put that double screen board up here, the queen was down here and all of her nurse bees got separated from her, okay? And all of her brood left, all of her brood got separated from her so all those pheromones left the queen and now she has nothing but workers and foragers coming back to this bottom hive so with with all that going on to the queen she goes into that egg laying mode because it's just like as if she swarmed so that's the status that we have down here then up here all the nurse bees, they're thinking they just swarmed because of the same thing. Um, because when nurse bees, you know, when workers leave a hive, you know, usually the queen's going to have swarm cells already made in on the uh, bottom of your frames and stuff. So, but, you know, when all the workers leave and the queen leave and all that stuff and all the hive has left is nurse bees, in their own hive with all the old brood, you know, they think they just swarmed too. And it's like, man, they didn't leave a, a queen cell for us. So they start going into queen making mode. Well, don't leave any of those old queen cells if that's why you done this Jay Marie. Um, Cause it, she'll hatch and everything. And so, but anyways, the nurse bees think that they uh, that they swarm too. So, and then, um, so the queen's laying up the bottom box like crazy. All the nurses are taking care of all the bees up here. Um, that goes on for one week. You remove that double screen board. And now, when you put that eighth inch beekeeper's hardware cloth in here, now you're starting to recombine these hives again. Now the, the pheromones are going to be transferred between these two easily because the bees use their antenna to transfer that pheromone. And so they'll get the queen mandibular pheromone up here. All the bees will be happy. And, and then the next week, you know, if you give them a week, you probably wouldn't have to. But uh, if you do... It's going to be real easy just to take this box off, pull the screen, put the box back on, you know. So that'd be a uh, that'd be like the the status of what you have 
right now. So, um, so now there is like two variations. Um, but since this stuff hasn't really been done, I mean, you'd be totally winging it, you know. Uh, let's say you don't have a, a double screen board. Well, what if you just got... What if you just got an inner cover and you just blocked this opening? Got the notch and had it sitting up? I mean, is that going to be the same effect as a double screen board? Maybe. I mean, you are separating the pheromones, okay? So, the nurses are going to go through the same motions. They're going to start making new queens new queen cells the queen down here is going to be the same way she's going to be thinking hey you know i just swarmed too so would that work if you block off this opening put some kind of a staple like uh some luon to to cover up the opening there and use that instead of a double screen board right now the other possible variation is Okay, since a Damerie, when, when you split those two boxes and the box up top thinks that they swarmed and they start making new nurses or new queen cells and everything, we never have to be concerned about recombining those two hives, right? Um, well, would that be the same case here? See, I'm not sure about that. So, but I mean, the only way to really find out, and I wonder if, if sometimes it would fail and other times it would be a success, is just not even worry about that beekeeper's hardware cloth. Just once you remove that double screen board, put the hives back together and you're done. How easy would that be? Oh my goodness. And then here you have two boxes of bees. I mean, full of bees so you know um this seems like a lot easier of a manipulation than the uh Damerie. um but it is it's achieving or accomplishing the same effect you know you're not actually splitting hives or anything you're keeping your hive as one component and uh you know or you're recombining them somewhat so all right well hopefully that was uh clear and understandable and all that good stuff so uh if you have any questions just post them in the comments and um if i can't get back to people uh you know a lot of you experienced guys that understand the way the bees work and stuff man hop in you know so i'd appreciate it but, all right, well, y'all have a good one. We'll see you. Bye.